Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to make this really simple wooden bird that you can put in your garden, on your fence line, or just basically anywhere you want to put it just to serve as a decorative piece. It's really simple. It's a good project to do with the kids because you can enjoy uh, painting it however you want to paint it. And you could do this as big or as small as you want. But let's go ahead and get started. So to make these birds, you're going to want to get a piece of wood that's quarter inch by four inch by 48 inch and also another piece that's three quarter inch by six by 48 or you can do 24 inch for that but if you want to make multiple of these birds the 48 inch will allow you to do a little bit more so this project uses templates and I have these templates available on my website for purchase now when you're laying these out make sure that all the templates are going with the grain that will ensure that this will be as strong as it possibly can and we're going to end up cutting out this as the body there's also going to be four wings that we'll use and then a couple other pieces that are used for connecting all of this together. Now if you don't have a bandsaw, you can use a jigsaw. Just be mindful that all of this will take a little bit extra time. Okay, so now for two pieces that are not actually a template, you're going to want to cut them out of the three quarter inch thick wood. You're going to cut two blocks that are two inches by inch and a quarter. And then make sure everything's got a nice good sand. Now with these little blocks, you want to find the center and we're going to drill down through the hole. Now this hole does matter depending on what size screw you're going to use. I would make sure that you have the screws already in hand. I'll be showing to you what screws I'm using in a minute. But you don't want it to be super loose. You want it to be just snug enough to where they will hold, but they still have some play in them. Now, as you can see, they've got these notches in them. This is how the wing will be held on to this. Now, there's one little mistake I made here, which I made these both identical. That is not what you want to do. <laughs> you want to make one in one direction, and the other will go in the other direction. And you'll see in a minute when I show you two of them together what I mean by that. And these you can simply cut using a coping saw, which I found to be the much easier option, being that all you had to do at the end was turn it to cut the bottom portion out of these slots. And as you can see, this is what they're supposed to look like. They should go in opposite direction of each other on both sides. Once again, giving everything a nice good sand. And I'm going to use some wood glue. And then later I'm going to apply some nails just to give it a nice little extra strength in these wings. Now to line up these anchor points for where the wings are going to attach, I just simply put the template back on there, poke through to give me the alignment, mark it out, 
then just apply the glue and nails and now this time I use wood glue and then a little bit of CA glue you don't have to use CA glue but what I find about that is that it will adhere and make this stop moving instantly and then I can apply the nails without the risk of moving this around so obviously I've got that one on but to get the other side basically try to eyeball it uh, you can use tape measure you can use your ruler just try to get it to be looking pretty close to the same as the other side Now I wanted to apply bigger nails, so just as a preventative, I drilled a little hole that was slightly smaller than the nail I was going to use, and then I drove the nail in. And here are the lag bolts. So you are going to want to make sure that there is a smooth shaft on at least an inch of the end. That way, that will allow the wing to freely spin and not get caught on the threads of the screw. So once again, I'm going to do this all by hand and do not want to split anything and just kind of give it a test so at this point this is completely up to you the design process of how you want to paint this is up to you i decided to paint the head and the back black it taped off areas i didn't want to get any paint and uh, just decided to paint this green and try to just make this look about like the style of the bird that i grew up seeing my granddad have in his house Okay, so while this video is playing, I just wanted to insert this thing really quick. Um, this thing really had a lot of inspiration from growing up for me with my granddad. He made these things and he put them up around his garden. Then he gave it to his son, which was my dad, and we had it at our house growing up. And I wanted to carry on the same legacy at my house. The one we had ended up falling apart, and so this was to replace that wood. But also, my wife's granddad had one and um, he recently passed away so it kind of spurred on in my mind to say I want to make one in memory of him but also in memory of all of the other people that have been so important in my life as well so there's a lot behind this apart from just being the wooden bird and so uh, that's a little bit of a backstory on this bird but let's jump right back into the action all right there she is it's all done now to mount this thing, there's several different ways you can do it. I chose to do more of a stationary way, which is just a piece of wood with two little pieces next to it, screwed to it, and then screwed to the top. You can actually do something where you have a pivot and put a hole in the bottom with a little screw so that your bird will actually turn with the wind. Um, but I just didn't want to go that far, but you can most certainly do that far. So if you got all the screws adjusted correctly, everything should freely spin as needed. Now, like I said at the beginning, make sure you use a paint that's rated for outdoor use. In my case, mine necessarily wasn't. Uh, actually, one the green was, the other ones weren't. So I ended up spraying some uh, polyurethane on it just to give it a little bit of protection. But just like anything that's outside, it's going to have a little bit of wear and tear through the years. And you may want to brush it up. You may actually change the color down the road. Who knows? But... Thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed making this. It was a nice walk down memory lane for me, having my dad that had one of these growing up, my granddad, and then my granddad on my wife's side. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time right here in the workshop.